China's efforts to manage the deadly coronavirus outbreak was applauded on the second day of the security conference in Munich. China's state councillor and foreign minister used the world stage to thank those who are working diligently to save lives, calling them all heroes. China's rigorous and thorough measures are paying off. As of February the 14th, the number of new con confirmed cases outside Hubei has recorded a 12-day consecutive drop. And the outbreak in Hubei and Wuhan is managed more effectively, indicating that overall the epidemic is controllable. A team of international experts led by the World Health Organization arrived in China to assist in the fight against the virus. Let me be clear, it's impossible to predict which direction this epidemic will take. What I can tell you is that what encourages us and what concerns us, we're encouraged that the steps China has taken to contain the outbreak at its source appear to have bought the world time. On another topic, Wang Yi dismissed criticism from U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Defense Secretary Mark Esper about the Chinese telecommunications firm Huawei, charged this week by the U.S. with racketeering and conspiracy to steal trade secrets. And they have been once again repeating their smears and criticism of China. It has become a common scenario, they say basically the same thing wherever they go about China. And I don't want to waste our time responding to each and every thing they've said. The thing I want to say is that all these accusations against China are lies. They are not based on facts. Meanwhile, in a conversation about the Iranian nuclear deal, Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif called on the U.S. to return to talks. It's not about opening talks with the United States. It's about bringing the United States back to the negotiating table that is already there. We meet every three months around that negotiating table. Now the United States can come back to the negotiating table. But unfortunately, President Trump, as I told you, has been convinced that we are about to collapse. The Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu also met with his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov as tensions between the two countries grow over an escalating Syrian offensive in the province of Idlib, which has displaced hundreds of thousands of Syrians. Natalie Carney for CGTN at the Munich Security Conference.